Enterprises taking good care of workers' lives honored. Dana strives to become a logistics hub in the central region. Contest theme, students of Dana University with APAC. The RT News is happy to have you watching today. Welcoming the Vietnam Entrepreneurs Day and in order to create an exciting emulation movement towards celebrating the 16th City Trade Union Congress of Dana City and the 12th National Trade Union Congress, on October the 11th evening, the City Labor Union held a ceremony to honor and reward the enterprises and units which have taken good care of workers' lives in 2017. 45 enterprises and units from all economic sectors honored at the ceremony have had the good methods and outstanding achievements in well implementing policies, labor law, trade union law, taking good care of workers' lives, contributing to creating favorable conditions for the trade unions at grassroots level to operate effectively. Through this activity, the city labor union expects to multiply good models and methods among local business community. On the occasion of the Vietnam Entrepreneurs Day, October the 13th, on the afternoon of October the 12th, the city leaders held a get-together for representatives of relevant departments, agencies and nearly 700 entrepreneurs representing the local business community. Speaking at the ceremony, Chairman of the City People's Committee, Hun Duc Thu, once again highly appreciated and acknowledged the great contributions of the city's business community. In the context of increasingly intensive integration, Chairman Hun Duc Thu expressed his desire that the city's business community would make even more efforts to enter the new era under the motto of unity, creativity, productivity, quality, effectiveness, and integration as well as timely grasping the golden opportunity from the APAC 2017. On behalf of the city's business community, representatives from the Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry, VCCI, Da Nang Branch, and from the Da Nang Young Entrepreneurs Association, expressed their gratitude to the city leaders, at the same time pledged that the city's business community will continue to make more efforts and positive contributions to the city's socio-economic development. On October the 11th afternoon took place a contract signing ceremony between the College of Technology under the University of Da Nang and the Office of National Science and Technology Research Programs under the Ministry of Science and Technology on undertaking the Science and Technology Research Project under the National Science and Technology Research Programs KC01-16-20. The research topic of the National Science and Technology Research Program KC01-16-20 is technology and development of IT products for e-government solutions. In particular, the focus is placed on researching and building models, platforms and technical solutions for e-government development, mastering technology design and manufacturing of hardware devices, specialized software and IT services for e-government, studying and formulating a number of national standards standards and technical regulations, serving as the foundation for e-government development and proposing and formulating mechanisms and policies to promote IT application in government administrative management activities. Under the orientation toward developing service, especially tourism, into the spearhead economic industry, over the past years, the city has paid much focus on developing logistics service. The industry growth rate is relatively high. Currently, the city is making efforts to become the logistic hub of the Central and Central Highlands region. Not only Da Nang Port but also other logistics units in Da Nang have made significant growth with average growth rate from 8 to 15 percent. The system of warehouses, transports and human resources are mainly focused for investment. 
To be able to compete with foreign enterprises, Dana is paying more focus on investing in developing infrastructure, improving administrative reforms, and increasing connections with other provinces in the region. First of all, Li Port is focused for investment to develop logistics services to reduce the workload for team support, as well as traffic flows into the city. Moreover, Dana also invests in developing industry, agriculture, and increase the flow of goods to support the development of logistics. Vice Chairman of the City's People's Committee, Nguyen Ngoc Tung, recently signed a document to request the City Department of Construction to conduct inspections of all restaurants and hotels, which have still not met the requirements for parking lots according to the desired license initially. Accordingly, the City Department of Construction will coordinate with relevant units to carry out inspections of the construction permits. Accordingly, the architecture of the works must meet the requirements for the traffic capacity in the project area, the ability to circulate vehicles, the public car park network, especially in the crowded area. The attention must be paid to strictly complying with the construction permit, intensifying post-licensing inspection with the aim of ensuring that the establishments have good parking spaces as prescribed. The focus should be paid on conducting inspections of and strictly handling all restaurants and hotels, which have not met the requirements for parking lots, according to the initial license desired. The fast growth of international tourist markets has led to increasing number of violation cases caused by many organizations and individuals doing tourism business in Dana. The Dana Department of Tourism has advised the city's People's Committee to direct the relevant units and agencies to strengthen the inspection of foreigners who are temporarily staying in the city and doing tourism businesses, strictly handle cases of operating business against their purposes of entry, as well as handle wrongdoings of some local shopping stores. In addition, the Municipal Department of Tourism has also regularly exchanged information with tour operators exploiting the Korean and Chinese tourist markets. These businesses were required to sign commitments to comply with the law on tourism. The travel agencies and accommodation establishments were forced to stop their violations on existing foreigners in operating illegal tourism activities in the city. The government has issued the action program to implement the 12-tenure Bolivar's Resolution No. 8 on developing tourism into a spearhead economic sector with eight groups of solutions. The resolution emphasizes that tourism development is the responsibility of the whole political system and of all levels, agencies and the whole society. The government's action plan is aimed at consolidating the tourism management system from the central to local levels towards synchronized and professional orientation, as well as enhancing the capacity and responsibilities. The structure of tourism industry will be modernized towards synchronization and professionalism, of which tourism enterprises play the role of a driving force, while the local governments are responsible for advising higher authorities to develop of appropriate policies and mechanisms. The authorities will also be in charge of coordinating with the relevant agencies to carry out programs and projects on tourism development in the area. Vietnam has a huge advantage of developing tourism, but the number of international visitors to Vietnam is not as high as expected. Despite the fact that over the past years, Vietnam has put forward many solutions such as diversification of tourism products, exploitation of indigenous cultural features, improvement of service quality, human resources quality, and efforts to call for investment in infrastructure. Therefore, in the coming time, the Vietnam tourism should pay focus on much more professional investment along with more synchronous and effective solutions. Tourism development depends not only on the amount of investment capital, but also the knowledge, love and enthusiasm for a job of the employees, so that they will be able to create sustainable tourism products. 
The Vietnam Culinary Culture Association was officially launched on October the 11th afternoon in Ho Chi Minh City with the goal of developing culinary culture into a national asset by 2030 and paving the way for Vietnam culinary to be the global culinary center in the future. Once operation, the Vietnam Culinary Culture Association will promote the country's diverse culinary culture with a wide range of dishes imbued with national identity to international friends, being one of the four groups of special tourism products that has made travelers very excited to discover when coming to Vietnam, along with many well-known dishes such as pho or bún chả and many regional specialities throughout the North, Central and the South Vietnam's culinary culture has not been developed to match its potentials. The birth of the Culinary Culture Association will be an opportunity to promote the Vietnamese culture, at the same time developing the tourism economy and contributing to the development of clean agriculture and food safety and hygiene. On the evening of October the 11th, the Youth Union, in collaboration with the Students' Association of the University of Da Nang, organized the preliminary route of the contest Students of Da Nang University with APAC. The contest aims to equip students with knowledge about the 21 APAC member economies, as well as the formation and development of the APAC Forum. Participating in the contest were nine teams from the member universities of the University of Da Nang. Each team represents an APEC member country to introduce its country, people, culture, economy and society of the APEC member economies respectfully. After the preliminary round, the organizers will select six teams to take part in the final round, taking place at the Trung Vinh Theatre on the evening of October the 22nd. The contest is aimed at encouraging and promoting the movement of learning English among students toward welcoming the APAP Economic Leaders Week 2017 taking place in Da Nang in the forthcoming November. And that's it for today's news. Remember to check out drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.